What's up, guys? It's Murphy here again, Sir Murph. So we're back with the Elantra. Yes, we still have the Elantra because they're not, they got into the car they're driving. This is kind of like the, the worker's car for when they graduate. So it's okay. We're looking next like two weeks because there's only like two other things to do. So today we got struts. Whoop. I don't feel like picking it up, but if you've seen the other video, you've seen how the old ones look. So you see how the new ones look. <laughs> so we're going to hop right into it. Things you'll need, you'll need a, it's not in here, but you need a 10, you need a 12, you need a 14 and a 17 socket. I didn't find taking all those out individually, like loose stuff, brought them. You may need a little mallet, or you can call it sledgehammer, because things get stuck in case you got to pull something, you need your pliers. Going to need your ratchet, going to need your breaker bar, and of course you're going to need the strut. <laughs> I'll let you the breaker bar, but... Be lazy. You want to identify where your brake cable is, which is this bolt right here that's holding it down, and your ABS line, which would be this bolt that's holding this in place. This is your 10, this is your 12. We're going to remove those. Okay, so we got our ABS disconnected and we have a brake line disconnected. So next is our two bolts here. You got you need a 17 millimeter. So you got to mention, but you need your wrench to hold on to the back of it. And then you have your breaker bar to go on the front. So let's go ahead and do that. Mm -hmm. there. Okay. So the main thing is to get it started. There you can put a ratchet on it and make it much quicker, much quicker. All right, so we got the top one started. Let's go ahead and move to the bottom one. That's a better angle. <laughs> it sucks sometimes when you're one man army, but hey, gotta make do with what you got. Alright, so I got the bolts out. Now we just pull these out. Sometimes they're a little stuck, or you can just where a camera might come in, you a little tap, get it out. Let's see, yeah, a little tap. Yeah, so these boys are rusted. Well, this is where the vice grips come to play. <laughs> Okay, the culprit. If you hear a lot of noise, it's because my neighbor wants to cut up some wood. And he has no fireplace. So I, I think he's being petty, but whatever. But we're gonna make sure that we grease these up before we put them back because that was just immensely hard. And the new struts didn't come with new strut bolts. Pressure from the strut, disconnect it. All right, disconnect it. We're not gonna disconnect all the way until we get the top bolts out. So let's move to the top. These should be fairly simple to break. Yep, real simple. Go ahead and break all of these apart. Yep, real cake, real cake. Disconnect this and get the bolts off of that. Now, we're gonna pull it from the front, from the front. So you gotta be cautious of your brake line that's down there. I'm not gonna lie, it's probably not gonna be a simple part. <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> Came out quicker than I thought it was. All right, that's why I call it a quick strut. <laughs> Taking it out was much easier. Putting it back in is gonna be the hard part because it has to align with the holes, so it's only going to fit in there, and that's the hard part. Especially when you got one person, because now you got to try to hold it at the bottom with one hand and from the top with one hand. <laughs> but we're going to go in the same route, the same way we took it out. So we're going to go in through the front, through the front way, align towards the hole, and this is where I have to cut it so I can go up top. <laughs> 
Ooh, the strap mounts, they spin. So, you gotta get it, you gotta get it correct. So sometimes you gotta play with it. All right, we got one, two. Come on, buddy. Buddy. It's not gonna go up until all of them are even. We got it. Oh, went too far left. Uh. All right. So I showed you up top how it's supposed to look. So I'm gonna show you at the bottom how I'm adjusting it, just so we can get an idea of some of the playing you gotta do with it. But you gotta maneuver it to where they all align. All right, as I was saying, it's only gonna fit in here one the way. Oh, that's it. Ooh. All right, so we're going to we're gonna put our bolts in, keep it in place. I don't have to tighten down yet. Not yet. Okay. So we got the bolts started. I checked. These are actually 15s on the new bolts. <clears throat> well, the old ones are 14, so we have to just change up our measurements. But now we must get her, these, back into place. Okay. So as I stated, had to grease them up first. Because, again, we didn't get any new bolts. So we're going to use these again. Make it a little easier with the grease. Now I can hop back into it. Okay, sometimes that takes a little adjusting, <laughs> as you saw, but now we can put our bolts or our nuts back on there. Another drill, wrench on one side, the nuts on the other, and we're going to go ahead and tighten them, tighten them. going to connect our brake cable back and our ABS so remember your 10 volt and your 12 volt and just like that you have to strut in Nice and, nice and in there. Your bolts are good. Both of these two in there. ABS line set back up. Brake cables back up. Ugh. And then, we just gotta put the tire back on. Well, and you should know how to put the tire back on. So, that is how you change a strut, especially for a 2000 to 2006 Hyundai Elantra. After repair tests, let's see. All right, so it's much better. Now. If you like this video, leave a comment and a like and subscribe. <laughs> and you will be updated when you see me do more content on vehicles. Thank you.